Welcome back to The Point. You know what time it is? It's time for a new segment. It's Off Their Feed, where we take the most popular tweets from the week and we discuss them in a very concise way. But I want to start off with Sarah Palin because she's a clown and she's always fun to talk about. Sarah Palin tweeted the following, that White House Correspondents' Dinner was pathetic. The rest of America is out there working our asses off while DC ass clowns throw themselves a nerd prom. Uh, Sarah Palin, we all know you're not working your ass off. Also, uh, were you at the White House Correspondents' Dinner? <laughs> Desi, what do you have to say? Well, my Mine would be, oh look, stupid ass clown says stupid ass thing. Love it. Pretty much. Hugo. This is not a woman who will ever get invited to a nerd prom. Oh. That's so true. <laughs> I, great point. Pretty sure she would not have tweeted this had uh, she been the vice president right now. So that kind of tells you all you need to know. Absolutely. And by the way, just to clarify, she was at the nerd prom uh, two years ago. Um, and of course, she made a fool out of herself there. And uh, that's probably why she never got invited back. A Saturday Night Live writer Alex Bays says, at least Tim Tebow finally got to experience a release. Of course, he's talking about Tim Tebow uh, getting released from the Jets. <laughs> I Well, I would say, I guess God is not his quarterback. <laughs> Love it. Here you go. Well, there may be a career in porn because he has the look for it and, you know, possibly the, the enthusiasm. I'm going to just let him, let him, you know what, the guy needs a release, let him have it. <laughs> very, very true. Glenn Greenwald says, Bradley Manning is off limits at San Francisco Gay Pride Parade, but corporate sleaze is embraced. Uh, to Glenn Greenwald, I would say, are you really surprised? Dave Rubin, what do you have to say? It has to do with gay people, so. Uh, yes, as the uh, gay professional, I, yeah, it, Bradley Manning, he was the WikiLeaks guy. He, he should, you know, they wanted to have him as the uh, Grand Marshal of the Parade. Yeah. It, he should have been, simple as that. Really raises questions about how relevant gay pride parades are in this current environment. They really seem to become passe. Desi. Interesting. Well, one of the organizers said that mention of Bradley Manning will not be tolerated. So apparently tolerance will not be tolerated at the Tolerance Parade. Yeah. <laughs> kind of incredible. Big boy of outcast tweets, uh, Georgia Governor Nathan Deal has refused to endorse one town's first ever integrated high school prom, saying he would rather not take sides on the issue. Well, to Nathan Deal, I would say that's pretty pathetic. You're on the wrong side of history. Does he? Also, not taking sides is the coward's way of taking sides. Definitely. He needs to deal with the 21st century. Oh, yeah, I was going to do something just like that. Um, don't vote for deal. All you? right, I love it, I love it. And then finally, Mitch McConnell uh, tweets a photo, and uh, it says, at Barack Obama, at Eastwood, greetings from coal country, Hazard, Kentucky. All I have to say is, your pants are too short, you look creepy. Desi. <laughs> I know, I only had, I, you can't do a physical tweet, but it's like, ugh, creepy. Yeah. Well, you know, boy, this is an Ashley Judd campaign ad if I've ever seen one. Ah. Yeah, I mean, this is hilarious because, you know, Obama had joked about ha having to have a drink with Mitch McConnell. Does this picture help McConnell's case? Oh yeah, <laughs> I want to sit down with that guy hey, and knock back no. a few brews. No. I wouldn't no. be surprised if he sat alone at a bar quite often. And you can always follow me on Twitter.